doesn't love roses for Valentine's Day? Why not one-up it by an offering of rosé champagne with a specially recorded message? Here with the Valentine's Day-themed weekend sip is WSJ's Charles Passy. Hi, Charles. Great uh, to see you. <coughs> happy early Valentine's Day. Happy early Valentine's Day to you. This must be a big time of year for the best-selling champagne in the U.S. Oh, yeah. I mean, I mean, you know, there are really kind of a couple of peak times for champagne. I believe December 31st is one of them, but Valentine's Day is another huge period, and particularly for rosé champagne because it's got that pink tint. That's right, and again, the association with those roses. But how long has this brand been the sort of top selling in the U.S.? It's been a, it's been for a, a while. Time. I mean, Veuve Clicquot has a huge presence in the United States, but what they've become especially known for are these incredibly clever and fun packaging. I mean, you could say sometimes a little gimmicky, and each holiday. They come up with some new. So twists. every Valentine's Day, they have every a new Valentine's one? Day, every every New Year's. There's always always holiday periods. They always have new twists on taking the same old bottle and dressing it up. Hey, fun! Ways. Can you give us a demonstration? Okay, of this so this, year's? this is called the Click Call, and um, it's it's a greeting card and a bottle of champagne in one. So you you get your gift mm -hmm. and you open it up and. Oh, how cute. Is that your voice, Charles? That is my voice so with a little little croak today. So you yeah, record whatever you, you can want. You can record it. And, and you know what? If you make a mistake, you can re-record <laughs> it. If you want to re-gift it, you can give it to somebody else. You can put in something very romantic. You can put in something very funny. How many you seconds of, uh, of uh You know, I, th I, I think you, you got about 10 seconds there. It's there. Nice. You know, I like that. You know. I like that. But what about the champagne? The champagne. I mean, this is, uh, the, the, they've put in their... Um, uh, non-vintage rosé, so okay. this is not the super high-end one. Um, it's a solid, flavorful champagne. You know, rosé champagnes always have a little bit more of a fruity quality to them. I mean, we think of champagne as being very toasty, very yeasty. Uh, rosé champagnes have a little bit more of that fruit in there. So are they better for dessert, Th these paired are, with these, chocolate? I, I mean, to me, you pair this with chocolate, you have the equivalent of a chocolate-covered strawberry. It really oh, tastes like that when you pair it with well, chocolate. Well, hey, let's but give we're, it, we're a, have let's it, give it a taste. Now. All right. Cheers. Mmm. I like that, but I knew I would because I like me some rosé yeah. champagne. <laughs> it's, it's, it's delightful. The packaging, yeah. you know, it's it's a little gimmicky. I say I might say it's not for everybody, although it saves you on buying a greeting card. But you can get the bottle without the the, the pack. I'll take it. I'd be happy with this. So <laughs> cheers. cheers, happy Valentine's Absolutely. Day, Charles. A little early.